Congressman Diane Black is making her way through Robertson County today with two stops on her schedule. First, it's the Springfield Rotary Club that meets at the Springfield Presbyterian Church on 5th Avenue in Springfield. And then it's on to the Robertson County Jobs Task Force, which is meeting at City Hall. We caught up with Diane Black at the Springfield Rotary Club and asked her what she hoped to accomplish in Robertson County today. I'm going to give an update on what's happening in Congress, tell them a little bit about what's coming up and what comes up toward the end of the year. Got any highlights for us? Uh, well, we'll have a number of um, programs that need to be reauthorized and ones that I think that people will be very interested in, like the transportation bill and the farm bill. And so I'm going to talk a little bit about each one of those and then maybe also give them a hint about some things that are happening with tax reform and what the discussion is. I think everybody is interested in taxes and what's happening with taxes both on the corporate level for the businesses that use the corporate but then there are a lot of small businesses that use the pass-through which is the individual tax and so everybody will be interested on in that whether you are working or not working uh, and then I'll just really open it up mainly and ask them what they're concerned about. We do have a job task force that we're going to be doing today so I'll be talking with some of the um, employees and um, elected officials in this area and finding out from them what it is that their concerns are so I can take those back to Washington. So I'm here today not just to give information but also to get information. Well, there you have it, Robertson County. By the way, I've had an opportunity to meet with a few of her staff members. Very professional. I guarantee you, if there's something you'd like to tell her and you want to leave it in comments below, I guarantee you that their team will get it to her as she'll see it. This has been Jim Ball reporting for SmokeyBarn.com's Robertson County Daily.